the principles of the esoteric teaching were presented by Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita. From Bhagavad Gita, we can also understand that the esoteric teaching was spoken by him long, long before, when he imparted it to the sun god Vivasan. A little calculation shows that before the repetition of the Bhagavad Gita in Kurukshetra, it was once before explained at least 40 million years ago. So this movement is not at all new. It is coming down by disciplic succession, and in India, from all great leaders of the Vedic society, like Shankaracharya, Ramanujacharya, Madhvacharya, Vishnu Swami, Nimbarka, and lately, about 500 years ago, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This principle of disciplic succession is still being followed today by the contemporary students of the esoteric teaching. The Bhagavad Gita is very widely accepted in all parts of the world by great scholars, philosophers, and religionists. But in most cases, the principles of Bhagavad Gita are not followed as they really are. Therefore, this esoteric teaching presents the principles of Bhagavad Gita as it is, without any unnecessary misinterpretation. Bhagavad Gita presents five main principles, namely the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the Living Entity, Material and Spiritual Nature, Time, and Activities. Out of these five items, God, the Living Entities, Nature, and Time are eternal. But activities are not eternal. The activities in the material nature are different from the activities in the spiritual nature. In the material nature, although the spirit soul is eternal, their activities are temporary. The esoteric teaching aims to restore the spirit soul's original eternal spiritual activities. The eternal activities can be practiced even when we are materially encaged. It simply requires direction from the master teacher situated in the disciplic lineage of the esoteric teaching. With this guidance, it is possible to act spiritually under the prescribed rules and regulations of devotional service. The esoteric teaching presents these spiritual activities, and if one is trained in such spiritual activities, one can be transferred to the spiritual world. The spiritually trained person transfers to the spiritual world by a change of consciousness. Consciousness is eternal because it is the symptom of the living spirit soul. But at the present moment, our consciousness is materially contaminated. Just like rainwater pouring down from a cloud is pure, but as soon as the water touches the earth, it becomes contaminated. But by filtering the same water, its original clarity can be regained. Similarly, the esoteric teaching is the process of clearing the consciousness, and as soon as the consciousness is clear and pure, it is transferred to the spiritual world for eternal life of knowledge and bliss. We who are trapped in this material world are hungering for this spiritual consciousness and being frustrated in every step on account of material contamination. This is the actual cause of all material suffering. Therefore, this esoteric teaching should be taken very seriously by the leaders of human society, for it is the antidote to all material distress. We hope you've enjoyed this edition of My Perfect Body. This is David Hughes, your host, reminding you to visit us on the web at esotericteaching.org.